David. Just call me Dave. I'm doing an intro series on Linux. Specifically, Ubuntu Linux 14.04. Ubuntu has been recently coming up, well, I say recently, it has come up into its to being very the most popular Linux distribution currently available. So uh, we will go through the graphical user interface and see the different features thereof. The first thing is the Ubuntu button. It's kind of like a start button. You type in what you want to search for, such as an application, a document, or a video, and it will automatically search your computer for it. So if I wanted to activate, such as Firefox, it's there. If I want to look for file, as in a file manager, there's files, there's an archive manager. This is all standard stuff. Um, you can also change the little tabs down here and it, it will change to the different search parameters you can put in. So you can search online, search for different videos, YouTubes. Uh, basically, it's, it's more tailored to Amazon products though because uh, YouTube, I mean, Ubuntu has uh, set up a, an agreement with Amazon. The next icon down is files, which is your basic file manager. It is very simplified to be easy on the eyes and still has a lot of features. Uh, obviously there is Firefox, which most of you have used before. And then we get down to the Libre, Libre Office Suite. Now it has different apps within it, such as Writer, which is equivalent to Word, it's using the standard Word type interface, not ribbon style, but makes it a little dated. It works well for a very simple daily use writer. I, I, I prefer it over something as complicated as Microsoft Word. In fact, sometimes I prefer something simpler. Um, there is also Calc, which is equivalent to Excel. Doesn't have all the features of Excel, but it works for personal use and for small business use. Does not work as well for large businesses and integration within uh, databases and stuff like that. That's usually where you have to go back to using a Microsoft product, but it works well for personal use. Like I said, most people think that they have to have Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel, and that's just not the case. Uh, Impress, I love Impress. Um, it works great. I, I really prefer it over PowerPoint. In fact, there is a lot of PowerPoint effects and features. The, the glitter that it has isn't in Impress, but uh, the glitter actually takes away a lot from the content. People get so overly concerned about the glitter, they forget about the structure of the slide itself. Most people do not know how to make slides. They do not know how to present the information in a reliable way, and changing your program is not going to help you on that. Uh, the next item is uh, Ubuntu Software Center, which is a app center. Anything that you usually need to install in Ubuntu, you can get it from the Ubuntu Software Center. You do not need to go looking across the internet to try to find a .exe file. That won't work for Ubuntu anyway. But you don't have to look for it. It's right here. All you have to do is type in what you're looking for. Let's say I was wanting to install Firefox. It's already installed. But as you can tell, there is Firefox web browser right there. And the little green check mark right here says it's already installed. So I know it's installed. It has ratings. Uh, they even have paid apps here. This is so much better than anything the Windows has right now. It's getting better. I understand that. It takes time. Uh, this is not up to standards in terms of what the Mac has because it is a closed environment. It is a walled off ecosystem. So the Mac does have more polish. But it is very good for what it does. We have Ubuntu 1, which is not set up currently on this system, but it does single sign-in logins, it does uh, music, used to, and it does disk, um, cloud storage, 
most of that is getting changed, but I don't have to keep up with that. Amazon, the, Am the Amazon app, as soon as it clicks, is the integration feature that Ubuntu came up with Amazon so that Amazon could put its products and services right on the Ubuntu desktop. And you see that every day when you press the search button. And the search button pops up, and you can search for anything that is available, whether it be music, whether it be videos, through Amazon. And apparently the Amazon app is just not want to work with me today. This is not an up-to-date version of Ubuntu. I have not put in the updates, so it's not surprising that there's a glitch. That is my fault. And the last button is system settings. Anything that you usually need to change in terms of getting connected to the internet, changing the display, the size, getting those fonts a little bit bigger so you can see them. Uh, if you have a different type of keyboard, let's say it's a Dvorak keyboard instead of a QWERTY keyboard, well, this is where you would change it. You could also change the acceleration on your mouse and touchpads and power settings. Pretty standard stuff. This is where it is. Pretty easy to find. And, of course, you also have the trash, which is empty. And last but not least, you have the shutdown over here, the little gear symbol with the one in it that is uh, system settings type stuff I have no idea where they come up with that icon but anyway the shutdown command is over here you just click shutdown you can also switch users to from my user which is Dave to a guest session you can log out just to show you shutdown there is an option to restart or shut down and that is it for a intro to the overview of Ubuntu 14.04 long-term support thank you